So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the most optimal settings to use inside of NVIDIA control panel. So these settings will help you get the maximum performance out of your NVIDIA graphics card to help you get the maximum frame rate and the lowest possible delay. To get started, you need to first open up the NVIDIA control panel. First, under manage 3D settings, you need to select the preferred graphics processor as your NVIDIA GPU. Now under the settings, you're going to leave image scaling to off, ambient occlusion to off, and anisotropic filtering, we're going to set this to application controlled. FXAA is going to be turned off. Gamma correction, we're going to turn that off. For the anti-aliasing mode, we're going to set this to off. You need to also turn off background application max frame rate. For the CUDA GPUs, we're going to set this to all. For the fallback policy, we're going to leave it to the default value. DSR factors is going to be off. Low latency mode, we're going to set this to ultra. Max frame rate is going to be off. MFAA is also going to be off. For the OpenGL rendering GPU, we're going to set this to our NVIDIA graphics card. For the power management mode, we're going to set this to prefer maximum performance. For the preferred refresh rate, we're going to set this to the highest available. We're going to leave the shader cache size at its default setting. For the texture filtering anisotropic sample, we're going to set that to off. For the texture filtering quality, we're going to set this to high performance. We're going to leave trilinear optimization to on. We're going to also turn on threaded optimization. Now, vertical sync or V-sync, we're going to turn it off. Make sure that this is turned off if you'd like to get the maximum FPS and also the lowest delay. And now for the virtual reality settings, we're going to leave them at their default values. Now you can just click on apply. And next, under the configure surround and physics settings, under the physics settings, make sure to select the processor as your NVIDIA graphics card and then click on apply. Next, we're going to go to adjust the sub size and position. And here, make sure that perform scaling on is set to display and not on GPU. Also, make sure to check this box to override the scaling mode set by your games and programs. Once done, just click on apply. And with that, you have successfully applied the most optimal settings inside of NVIDIA control panel. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like me to optimize your laptop or PC for you, or optimize your connection for lower ping, you can check out the link in the description for my PC and network optimization service. That is going to be it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.